Aiden, Aiden, I've got Frank here. At least what's left of him. Aiden, where are you? The thirtieth floor. The infected. They, they blew up. Fuck it. I told you. Frank, wait. Where are you going? He's as good as dead, Luan. I'm sorry. This is where I lost all my night runners. I'm not going through that again. He's not dead yet. He's there, and he needs you. He needs a cop. That's what he needs. Frank, you smelly old alcoholic cunt. Why don't you fucking get a grip on yourself and step up for once? Frank, I think I found it. What's it for? It's a grappling hook. A rope launcher. It's a what? We'll help you climb. Aim it at something it can attach to, and shoot. Try to use it to get onto the terrace. Let me know once you've done it. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
think I'm getting the hang of it, Frank. Sure you are. It's simple, but it can save your ass. Where to now? Where you were headed, Aiden. Upstairs. You have to go up one level. From there, you're gonna go to the side wing. Right to the side wing? The main wing is full of infected. Go. You have several floors to climb.
I'm on a terrace. Cool. You see my canteen? Yeah, you bet. Looks really tiny from here. Cool. Now open your paraglider, jump and fly to the fisheye. See you there. Wait, what? Time to end this madness, Aiden. You have a paraglider. Get out of there while you still can. Frank, I need to go up. You said you'd help me. Better trained men than you have died there, Aiden. I won't lead you to your death. Frank, I'm going up. With or without you. Are you too drunk to realize that? Luan told me about your sister. She must be dead by now. But you're alive. And if you come down, you'll stay alive. Fuck you, Frank. We're done here. I'm going up. Aiden! It's me. I won't leave you Get on your own. You're talking to a dead man, Luan. I'm coming to you. Wait for me. Are you what? No, no way, Luan. Luan?
Hanging, jumping, and climbing, whatever it takes. It will be worth it, Aiden. Communication is everything. I didn't ask her to come... I'll radio and talk her out. Forget it. She turned off her radio. I guess I said a few things too many and... Fuck. Fortunately, I warned Matt and the PKs won't let her in. Listen, I'm near the top already anyway. Even if she did make it, it'll all be over by then. You... you're where? On top of the building. <laughs> you motherfucker. I didn't fucking believe you'd make it. But holy shit, you will.
were you after uh, on, on your mission? Radio New Hope. Imagine messages of peace and unity, bringing people together, giving them hope. Yeah, well, I was a hopeless romantic in my younger days. What can I say?
I'm at the transmitter. What's next? Good. Good. Now throw the switch, and that's it. I turn on the transmitter, Matt will tell me about the GRE doctor. I need to know where my sister is, and what Waltz did to us. Sometimes our choices are bigger than ourselves. Sometimes the things we do, they matter. I'm not gonna try to convince you. You got the transmitter working. It's your call. I'm sorry, Frank. I have to find Mia. I appreciate your vision for the future, but I need Waltz's files. I see. You've, uh, made your choice. Over and out. Aiden. The job is done, Matt. The antenna's working. Good. I knew I could count on you. You did a great job, son. Row and the boys. Their deaths will not be in vain. The elevators are working again. See you soon. The Peacekeeper's mission is to serve the city and exterminate the infected. Tired of chaos? Do you believe in order? It's time for you to act. Join the Peacekeepers. The key to bringing order to the city might be you. Enlist today. You made it. Hey, it's good to see you too. Don't ever fucking do that again. Hey, where did that come from? You owe me one. of my sneakers nearly tore off trying to get to you. Um, I'm sorry? Uh, sorry. I thought I'd be scraping your guts off the fucking pavement, and you're sorry? Juan, I don't believe it. You were actually worried. <laughs> Shut up! Like I said, you owe me. My sneakers are ruined. I can literally feel the concrete scraping my feet. We need to get me a new pair. Well, they don't look that bad to me. You sure we don't have more important stuff to do? If it was their looks I was worried about, I would have trashed them ages ago. I risked a trickier route to get to your sorry-ass bastard, but the wind blew me into a broken banner. The fucking spikes were nastier than they looked. They were my last pair of intact shoes, Aiden, my soulmates in this dirty revenge-seeking business. Without them, I'm... <sighs> So, let's go. You want to go shopping for new sneakers, now? Is this some kind of joke, or...? Do I look like I'm joking? Luan, uh, you said... Ah, uh, oh, shit. Luan, it's not a sign of weakness to say you were worried. <laughs> Can you at least tell me where we're going? Aren't a lot of shoe stores open in the area, I bet. There's a place. Some of my old stuff might still be there. I thought all your stuff was at the fisheye. But I guess that's not where we're going. Just shut up and follow me.
I, um... I have to tell you something. What? I didn't give the tower to Frank. Yeah, I know. You need to find your sister, right? You did what you did. I just want to get my sneakers back. Right. First things first. Back? Were they stolen? The one? If... See that opening? Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? Hey, look, you got me suspicious, Luan. What's going on? Just go get him, would you? You climbed the fucking TV station tower. You can climb into an apartment. It depends on what's in there. I'm fine, chicken. I'm inside. Don't touch anything. Just get those shoes. What's in here that's got you so spooked? Almost, almost happy. <laughs> Pretty cozy nest. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Because that den is my home. I took all I needed with me. Except for the shoes, that is. fortune in these bottles. Hey, Luan, I found your shoes. Great. Now get the fuck out of there. But it's quite the love nest, with the wine, and the view, and the music. I mean, I'm starting to see a whole new Luan here. And you know what? I don't blame this guy, whoever he was, for liking her. Fuck you, Aiden. 
But I, I didn't... Luan, wait. What? Hakon. Oh, you bastard. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. Shit, Luan! Are you there? Come on. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Just meet me on my rooftop. Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. It figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off.
Got your sneakers. You should also have this. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? <sighs> There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Just leave me alone. Luan, what's going on? You just don't give up, do you? <laughs> you should know that by now. You should know I fucking hate whimpering. Saying how you feel isn't whimpering. Fine. Stick around if you have to. Don't interrupt me. I'm busy. You're getting drunk? No, you dork. Looking at the stars. Hey, I 
can see the Big Dipper. Hmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear and seem close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. Nice, huh? What about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? Uh, well, I... We tend to... Just forget it. Wow. The shy type. Looks like your constellation is... Sickness. See, what, miss? <laughs> there. Look. The swan. When I stargaze, I always find the swan first. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe. Maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. So, did you meet Hakon when you were building the fisheye with Frank? He and Frank used to hang out with each other a lot. They were friends. It's a simple story, really. I was a young girl looking for attention. He didn't mind having his fun. The good thing is, lesson learned. For life. You still care, don't you? Otherwise, why make me go into the apartment? Yeah, I care, Aiden. About the person I am now. That's why I didn't want to go back there. So the weak little girl that lived there doesn't get the better of me anymore. I used to hate her. Now, I'm so over her. Um, let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden? If I see Hakon, I'm gonna kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. That's fine. But you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. That's for Frank. I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big. But when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward. You can't turn back the clock. True. <laughs> but I can stop his fucking clock. And I fucking will. Now. Good night, Aiden. I'm here, yeah. The one? Well, I'm glad you're alive. That was one hell of a ride in that building. And then, you just disappeared. We need to talk. It's about the GRE database you're looking for. I finally found something concrete. Waiting for you on the ship. Thanks, Jack. I'll meet you in your quarters as soon as I can. The one? The one, you there? Hmm. <laughs> Juan, come on, you hear me? Just let me know you're okay. <laughs> 